blindsided the channel to learn, implement, and succeed. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Blindsided. This is Carla Rivas Parker, Vision Rehabilitation Specialist. And today I'm going to be talking about how to activate Narrator and how to implement some basic Narrator setting changes and some basic Narrator navigation. Okay, so what is Narrator? Narrator is the screen output software or screen reader that is embedded in Microsoft 10. So in order to activate this valuable tool for those people who have a blindness or low vision, we're gonna use a keyboard shortcut with Windows Control and Enter. So this keyboard shortcut will allow us to start narrator and to stop narrator. So let's start narrator with Windows Control Enter. Narr narrator heading level one, scan. Welcome to narrator. This is narrator home where you can get help, access your settings and learn about new features. Narrator is a screen reader that describes aloud what's on your screen, so you can use that information to navigate your device. To start or stop Narrator, press the Windows logo key plus Control plus Enter. Explore the sections below to get started. Quick Start, Button, Alt, Q. Okay, so once you activate Narrator, that's the message you're going to receive every time you activate Narrator. So. Once you hear it once, probably you don't want to hear it again. So next time you turn your narrator on, just push the control key and that will stop the speech. So narrator works with some very basic uh, commands to do some basic navigation. We are going to use the arrow keys, the tab key, the enter key, as some of the basic keys we use to navigate our computer. So in order to do that, I wanna share my screen. So I'm gonna move to my uh, sharing screen. Apps, select a window or an application that you want to share. Okay, and I'm gonna use my tab key to navigate through the options to be able to share with you. Basic tab item. Sharing options list box. Use arrow keys to se select it. I'm using the up arrow key. Screen. Share your entire screen. Select it. Share sound check box checked. I'm tabbing through the options here. Select sharing sound mode. Menu item. Optimize for video clip check box unchecked. Button. Share screen button. And I'm going to push share screen. Meeting controls. Okay. So I'm sharing my computer right now. So we're going to implement some uh, basic commands here. As I said, we're going to use the arrow keys, the tab key, and the enter key to execute some commands. But if you're not familiar with your keyboard, and you need to know where some of these keys I am mentioning are, then you can set your uh, narrator in the keyboard input learning mode. That way you can explore your keyboard. So let's do that. That is with the keyboard shortcut, caps lock, and your Number one, it's important to understand that narrator uses a narrator key. The narrator key is a key that's gonna be using in conjunction with other keys to execute some commands. Narrator has two options. The narrator key can be the caps lock key or can be the insert key. 
you will pick which one is more comfortable for you to use. In my case, I'm gonna be using the caps key, the caps lock key, which is more comfortable for me to use. So in order to navigate our keyboard, we're gonna do the narrator key plus the number one. Let's do it. Input learning on. And we are in the input learning mode. In this mode, no matter what key you push, you're really not executing any command or entering any information in the computer. You're mainly learning what key is what. So you can push random keys. I'm going to start the lower left button on my keyboard. Control. And it will announce them as I push them. So I'm going to go up above the control. Shift. And then above. Caps lock. Narrator key. That's your narrator key. And it indicated that. Above. Tab. And then above. Grave accent. And above. Escape. Okay. So you hear those when I, and it will do that with any key you push. So let's try the lower keys on the lower row of the keyboard, starting with the left side. Control. Windows. Alt. Space. Alt. Control. Page up. Left arrow. Down arrow. Right arrow. And that's the end. I'm using a laptop, so it does not have the numeric keypad. So this will allow you to figure out where your keys are and learn more about their position. And if you're having a hard time finding specific keys like the enter or the caps, I will recommend to add a little tactile mark on the key, like a little bomb dot or a little piece of Velcro that will allow you to locate keys easier. So let's exit this learning mode by implementing our narrator key plus number one. One, input learning off. And it did say input learning off. So we're out of that. So now, many times when we hear narrator, for some people, narrator can be too fast or it can be too slow. So there is a keyboard shortcut to increase or decrease the speed of narrator. And we're going to use the narrator key plus the plus sign to increase the rate and the narrator key plus the minus key to reduce the rate of, of the speech. So let's try that. Here we go. Speed increase to 55%. Speed increase to 60%. Speed increase to 65%. Speed increase to 70%. And I went to 70%, it started at 50 and to me, this is uh, too fast. I don't understand what narrator is saying. So in order to decrease the speed, I'm going to use the narrator key plus the minus key now. Speed decreased to 65%. Speed decreased to 60%. Speed decreased to 55%. Speed decreased to 50%. Speed decreased to 45%. Speed decreased to 40%. Speed decreased to 35%. Speed decreased to 30%. And it will go so, uh, slower and slower all the way to 0%. But even at 30% right now, I feel it is too slow for me. So I'm going to put it back to 50%, which I thought it was the right speed for me and for you guys. So let's... Speed increased to 35 Speed increase, speed, speed, speed increase to 55%. Speed decreased to 50%. Okay. I put it back into 50%. We also are able to change the volume if we feel the volume is too loud or too low. So in order to do that, we're going to use our narrator key plus control plus the plus key to increase the volume or the narrator key plus control, plus minus 
to decrease the volume. So let's try that. Volume at maximum. So I have the volume at maximum. So let's reduce the volume of our narrator. We're going to do the narrator key plus control plus minus. Volume decreased to volume decreased to 90%, volume decreased to 85, volume decreased to 80%. So if you notice, every time I push the keyboard shortcut, it decreases 5% in the volume as well. So I'm going to put it back to 100% because that way um, the recording of this video is nice and loud. Volume increased to 85%. Volume, volume, volume increased to 100%. Okay. And I made the modifications there. In a future video, I will show you how to change the voice. If you want to have, for example, a female voice or so, something different, I can uh, show you how to do more advanced settings in Narrator. For right now, I just want to go into the very basic uh, navigation so you can start exploring your computer. So typically on the desktop, that's where some of your application, the most common ones, the application um, shortcuts are going to be located. So in order to go to the desktop, we're going to use the keyboard shortcut Windows with D as desktop. Let's do that. Open book 9.0, selected. And when I move to the desktop, it land on the last icon of the app I opened, which was open book. But if I wanna know where am I, I'm gonna do my uh, narrator key plus T for title, just to see where am I? No additional context information. Okay. Um, I didn't say that. But all right. So here we are at the desktop. Let's implement some of these navigation commands I was talking about, which is the up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. So photos from Gear Bubble. <sighs> Microsoft Edge, selected. I'm going down arrow right now. Audio trainings, selected. Going down again. And nothing. So I am at the end of this column. I'm going to go right. JAWS 2022, selected. And from here, I'm going to go up. Beyond 4.0, selected. Adobe Acrobat, selected. Laser software, selected. So it basically reads to me every single option I have on my desktop. And I will tell you, I have a lot on my desktop. So if you are like me, have a lot of items on your desktop and you want to navigate faster, let's say you want to go to the YouTube icon. You can just push the letter Y. YouTube, selected. It jumps directly to the option you want to execute. Let's say um, the software I want to open starts with the letter G. Google Chrome accessibility settings, selected. G Google Chrome, selected. That's the one I want, Google Chrome. The first option was accessibility settings and that was not what I wanted. G Google Chrome accessibility settings, Selected. Those are the two I have available. If if you know the first letter of the app you want to execute or document you want to open, because on the desktop you can put shortcuts for your apps, you can put documents that you use more frequently, things like that that are important, you can place them those here on the desktop and you can navigate with your arrow keys or by pushing the first letter of the icon you want to navigate. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you learn how to activate the narrator and the basic commands. And remember, if you learn, you can implement and you can succeed. This is all for now.
Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next uh, episode. And uh, just a little reminder, if you like this type of uh, content, please consider subscribing to the channel and click on the bell so you're notified whenever I post more videos. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.